Hey. Hey. Nice. Got some dinner. Yeah, what is it? Uh, these are pompano. Okay. Delicious little white meat fish. Cool. We got so, some I figured liquor. we were probably sick of uh, MREs and rice, so. This looks perfect. <laughs> we'll do some pompano for dinner. And then we've got fresh trail cam bait. <laughs> I feel kind of a waste to give this to anything else. But... Uh, we'll use the guts in the frames. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Good. <sighs> Beautiful. So, this would be nice. Yeah, these are great. Thank you. Some fresh meat's always good. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> That's a nice dive. I think I'll start cleaning them up straight away. It looks like you already almost have a fire ready, so that's great. Almost set. What else do we need? Um, not too much yet. Maybe just start cutting up the fish, and then we'll get the fire lit and yeah. cook it up. Sounds great. All right, cool. Hey, you can relax. Just chill out. Right. Good. What else did you see out there? Ah, uh, saw some beautiful eels. Saw some coral trout. These pompano. What are coral trout? Um, like a, a grouper okay. that lives in the reef, like a big kind of bass-like fish. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Is there a lot of reef out there? Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh. Man, you wouldn't even think it looking out there. It's beautiful. That's cool. So I think we'll cook those to haul. Okay. You like sushi? Yes. All right, let's have a little sushi, Did shall we? Did you bring a little nori with as well? No, no, I don't have any nori. I do. These look beautiful. And delicious. Nice. Yeah, they're pretty meaty. How reflective are they in the water? Uh, they kind of vanish because you know the water's kind of silty and silvery, and then you have these silvery fish, and they just kind of vanish. So how do you look for them when you're out there? Uh, these guys can spend a lot of time on the reef and didn't see much, and then came in, hunted along the sand, and saw these guys. So they were just schooling along the sand. How many of them were there? Oh, uh, probably 20 or 30. Did you follow along the school to get three then or pick them off right at the time? No, it was different schools. Okay. Yeah. I don't like to take too many from one school. Yeah, you were going to bring back 30? No. Each, each time. No, it's just plenty enough for us. That's great. Yeah, look how white that meat is. Not only will these guys be absolutely delicious for dinner and give us some fresh meat, but we'll use the frames and the guts for fresh trail cam bait. Fantastic. Some spoiled, spoiled animals out there. <laughs> this is better than you usually eat on field trips. Uh, yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, I got mountain rice and definitely no fish. Rocks are incredible. The whole area is absolutely stunning. Nope. And the reef's so alive. It's great. Yeah, we came out just south of uh, an area called Antrachnaumbu, the Masia Posa, where the first interviewer was talking about. Oh, okay. And, where uh, he said he saw the... Yes, exactly. Um, it's an incredible river that comes up into the mountains over there, and it's a beautiful spot. I haven't been down here much, but the park comes right down to the water. Marine park here, and they're not a really far long way. That's so. good. That's what I like to hear. Hence the fantastic fishing. Yeah, exactly. So we'll save that skin for trail cam bait. Yes. Right. Here comes the gourmet part. You ready? I have, yeah, I've had pompano sushi before a number of times. Beautiful, white, flaky. You know, believe it or not, sushi is not good, as good, super fresh as everybody thinks. If it really? ages for a day so that the muscles relax, it's actually even better. But Why is that? I think it's something to do with the muscles actually relaxing and getting a bit softer. Like you'll see, oh. this will be, the flavor will be spectacular, but it will be a bit chewy. Anyway, on that note. Great. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't exactly like, you're like, this is not going to be as good as you think it is. No, it's going to be pretty good. Oh, that is nice. Nice. Guys, you can put down the cameras for a second and have a little sushi. We haven't had any meat in like a week. Not except for meat. Nice. With some sand. I can hear the sand. <laughs> All right. Adds the crunch. I think I might get changed. Okay. Um, should we get the fire lit and yeah. then um, we'll roast the rest of these? Okay, yeah, sounds great. Um, I've seen, you know, those big giant clam shells? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you could giant find? Clams. Yeah. <laughs> you think you could find one and okay. we'll use one of those as a pot to cook with? Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'm really interested to see how that plays out. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. I am gonna get such an incredible place to be able to camp on this beach where nobody is, jump in the water, 
have fish everywhere, be able to get some for dinner. It's just magical. Not helping us get much closer to the Kisawala, but it's a nice break from hiking and camping and eating rice every day for weeks on end.